Hi everyone, welcome back to Asperger's from the inside. You're here with Paul. I make weekly videos sharing the human side of autism, so make sure you hit subscribe to get the latest content. So today I wanted to share some of my personal story um, because I, I recently found an online therapist, an online counselor, which is becoming more of an option these days, um, especially with, with lockdown and COVID and um, things moving online in general, uh, it's, it, it can, it's now an option that you can really explore. So I thought I'd, I'd, I'd share my story with that. Um, I actually have a psychologist in Melbourne as well, who I've never met in person. We only, we only do our sessions online. So even if you find an online counselor in your own city, it can also be really helpful. Um, so I guess there are a couple of things that I wanted to share. First, I wanted to share my, my uh, anxiety and what I was worried about before I tried to find an online counsellor, uh, the process of actually finding one, and then finally uh, a good solution that I, that I have found. So I guess just like trying to seek out useful mental health in general, I was worried predominantly about am I going to be able to find a right fit? Am I going to waste my time and energy and money and explain all my situation to someone else who doesn't even understand and who isn't able to give me any useful advice. Unfortunately, I've had some less than positive experiences in the past. Um, several years ago now, I uh, saw a psychologist on a regular basis for quite a while. And the reason I kept going back to her is because I didn't know that it should be better than that. I, I felt like I was going to every session and just explaining to her what had happened since the previous session and then I would leave and I haven't, I haven't explored any idea, I haven't got any strategies, I haven't got any advice from her and it turned out that every um, professional has their own method of doing things. So actually what mattered the most and, and I learned this uh, through uh, through, through the research on, on some of these things is that one of the, the biggest factors as to if your mental health professional is going to be useful for you is what is your relationship with them? Do you feel like they understand you? If the answer is yes, there is a very high chance that they're actually going to have a positive effect. If you're sitting in the session going, you, you're not getting it, I'm trying to explain myself and you're not really seeing me and you're not really understanding my situation, that's a bad sign. Um, so I was worried that I would spend a lot of my time and a lot of my energy and a lot of my money paying top dollar for professionals who couldn't really help me. So while I knew that speaking to a mental health professional, especially a counsellor, would be really beneficial for me, I really didn't know where to start and I really was worried about actually finding a good solution. So fortunately, I eventually found an online platform called BetterHelp um, that has ended up being fairly good for me. Full disclosure, BetterHelp provided me with both a free trial and an affiliate link so that I could test out their platform for myself and tell you honestly what I thought about the experience. If you decide to try it too, you can use the sponsored link in the description below to get 10% off your first month and support this channel in the process. So as I mentioned, I didn't know where to start. So when BetterHelp offered me a free trial, I'm like, yes, perfect. This is the perfect opportunity for me to jump in, not worry about money or time or anything. I can just see if it's going to be any good. And, and that, that re removed some of the barriers for me so that I could actually test it out for myself. So I was, I was really excited going in because I, I was reading it and I thought, this is really good. You can text someone and they'll text you back. You can have a voice call or a video call or even, or even have your session over chat if you want to. So that, that sounds fairly flexible and friendly. It sounds like they're actually trying to meet my needs rather than just fit me into their schedule. Um, so I, I found someone, got matched with someone and I was, again, really worried about making sure that that person could understand me. So I started trying to say, I would like someone with autism experience because I, have, I know myself really well and I find that if I talk to someone who doesn't know anything about autism, I end up just explaining things and teaching. I teach about autism, that's my professional job. I'd rather not pay a mental health professional 
to get free training from me, right? If you, if you know what I mean. Um, so I started trying to say I would like someone with autism experience. And unfortunately, what happened was because I was trying to find that, I found people that thought they knew stuff about autism, but actually their information was quite outdated. So I found a better, a much, much better solution was finding someone who was happy to learn about autism from me. I, I threw out that whole idea of trying to find someone who already understood autism. And I said, forget about that. The less you know about autism, the better. Because a curious mind will listen to me and go, oh, that's interesting. That's, that's how it must be for you. And um, there's actually a counseling style called the person-centered approach or, or human humanistic approach. And some of the philosophies around that are really good for autistic people. Um, some of the philosophies are around you, the, the client is the expert on their own life. I actually had a, a, a counselor that I found through BetterHelp, the, the first one that, that matched reasonably well. One of the first things she said to me was, you are the expert on your own life. And when she said that, I just felt my whole body relaxing because she was listening to me. She wasn't telling me solutions. She wasn't saying, this is what you need to do and not understanding where I was coming from. Her first um, goal was, you are the expert on your own life. I'm here to help you in whatever way you need help with. And the, the whole premise of, of, of a person-centered approach is that just having a place where someone hears you and sees you and understands you and accepts you is the first step towards accepting yourself. So it was all about self-acceptance. And I found that that frame, which is actually quite a common uh, frame that counselors are trained in, um, was, was really, really helpful for me. So some of the other things that I liked about the process is that I could actually go through and pick the person that I wanted to be matched with. For me personally, it was the most challenging part of doing that was I'm in Australia and all the counselors are in the US, so time zones were, were, were a bit of an issue. Uh, but once I found someone who had some compat compatible time zones for me, I could message them and they would message back. There's, there's unlimited sort of back and forth uh, that you can have even before your first session, which I found really helpful. It meant that by the time I got to that first session, I already had a sense that I want to work with this person. I don't know if you've ever been to an appointment and, and there's, there can be a lot of anxiety around, I'm not sure if this is going to go well. So I found that, that texting back and forth before actually uh, having the, the official paid session um, was just a way to reduce that anxiety and, and give me more confidence that it was actually going to be helpful. Um, the other thing that I really liked about the, the process in general is that the, the standard thing is to have weekly half an hour catch-ups. And this helped me to talk to someone before there was an issue. <laughs> so rather than, oh, I don't need counseling, I'm fine. I don't need to talk to someone. I'll just work it out by myself. And then when it gets really bad enough, then I say, oh yeah, well, I guess I should probably speak to someone about this. And then not having anyone there to actually speak to because I haven't built up that relationship. Instead, we were having um, weekly meetings and we'd chat for only half an hour at a time but it meant that we could have and build a continuing relationship where things would come up and I'd realize what was important and we could actually work through issues as they were coming up rather than, oh, so this is a previous thing that I dealt with five years ago and I'm trying to, trying to you know, get therapy to get over now. No, 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 no. It was more about this is the life that I'm going through and this is constantly thinking about and topping up and getting better strategies and well, how did that work? We'll try it again this week. Try it, you know, how did it work last week? What are you really struggling with this time? What worked really well last week? What would you like to do? What would you like to focus on? And, and because it was so consistent, I found that the, the results that I was seeing, it was just making a lot more sense. I was talking about my mental health less and I was actually doing it more. I was actually changing my behavior and trying different coping strategies 
a lot more effectively compared to some other experiences that I've, that I've had. Um, I still see a psychologist as well on the, on the side, uh, but um, I, I found that having less frequent meetings, like once a month, for example, I end up talking about what happened and there's a little bit less of actually implementing things and, and talking about it as it's happening. Anyway, so I might leave it there for today. Uh, I just thought I'd share a little bit of my own um, story trying to find good professional help with mental health. Um, I would strongly encourage you, if you've been thinking about um, getting professional help, uh, you could try the online counselling through BetterHelp um, through, through the, the affiliate link um, through this channel. That would be really helpful. Otherwise, there are plenty of other ways. And whether it's talking to a friend or um, going through a mental health care plan or seeing a psychologist or finding someone in person, whatever option you end up trying, it's really important to have that support before you need it because after you need it, it's very hard to find at the last minute. Because as I, as I said before, the, the most important factor is the relationship that you have with your, with your therapist. And that's hard to develop on, in a short amount of time. Whereas if you're talking to someone um, that you go to regularly that you know and trust, that can be really helpful there. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be doing some, some more videos on mental health um, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time. Bye.